from Pittsburgh, the undead have always held a special place in my heart and brains. Botany, on the other hand, is something I would never have paired with zombies of any kind, whether shuffling and moany or running and screamy. The combination feels effortless in Plants vs. Zombies, though, and has given me a good case of the green thumb. Plants vs. Zombies is a tower defense title developed and published by casual game mogul PopCap Games. I don't want to rip on casual games, but for the most part they tend to lack substance, which is really what makes them casual. Every so often a casual game comes along that completely draws me in with thoughtful game design and a simple but fun concept. Plants vs. Zombies is one of those games. Zombies have been a potentially overused trend in video games over the past years, but with games like the Dead Rising series, the Killing Floor, the Left 4 Dead series, and the Resident Evil series, we shouldn't feel cheated in the intellectual property department. The overall idea for the main adventure is, don't let your house be infiltrated by zombies. You keep them at bay by utilizing sunshine, which counts as currency in the game, and purchasing plants to act in your defense. You build up a battleground and keep the zombies out of your home. You have five lawn mowers to act as a last resort, poised at the end of each row between the zombies and your house, and once a zombie touches them, the lawn mower will roll its way down the row, chopping up any zombie it happens upon. Make it through a few waves of zombies and you'll beat the level. Plants vs. Zombies has the ability to be boring and repetitive, and if the variation stopped with the first level, it would be, but PopCap mixes it up really well. They toss in levels where you use walnuts to bowl over zombies, daytime and nighttime levels play out differently, and after you complete each set of levels, you're taken to a new environment. Not to mention the new zombies that are introduced, each of which come with their own special attack set. I can go into strategy, but there are a million different ways you can beat a level, so there isn't a cookie-cutter way of structuring defense. I enjoy games that don't have any sort of set solution and allow for free-form problem-solving. Learn the plants, come up with your own way of playing, and you'll do just fine. Plants vs. Zombies is very cute, funny, and is honestly something I could see anyone playing. From children to adults, casual to hardcore gamers, it's just a great title. This game came out a while ago, but it stood the test of time. Once you've finished the first playthrough, there's another with a higher difficulty, loads of achievements to get, and so many mini-games and puzzles that will keep you occupied for hours. Oh, and I can't forget the Zen Garden, which can be more frantic than relaxing. I swear, if that snail moved a little faster or with any sort of purpose, I wouldn't have to pick up all the money myself. I love hopping in on Plants vs. Zombies and playing some Endless Base Breaker, and although at times it makes me want to break real things, the game is still mad fun. Plants vs. Zombies has the ability to be tough, but at the same time this title is also incredibly fair and adaptable. Since this game's release, many developers have tried to mimic the success of Plants vs. Zombies with little result. This game is another with that je ne sais quoi that makes it addicting and amazing. Blah, 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 blah,